so we've made it up to Yorkshire. The idea was to come up and go to Benton Cliffs, which uh, has a lot of sea wildlife, seabirds, um, quite prolific. This uh, shots that you can see here were not taken at Benton Cliffs. Um, the puffins here were taken uh, further along the coast and I'm not going to say or stipulate where because I think it would be dangerous to do so. We uh, had a good journey up in good sunshine and then the weather changed. You know, a lot of the videos that I've taken and images were taken in rain and uh, quite miserable conditions really. Quite surprised how well I've turned out. Anyway, do enjoy. Well, we've arrived at our first location, which is Formwick Bay, which is near Flamborough, and it's also near to where we're staying. So it's the obvious choice to go and have a look before we go anywhere else. But it was rather disappointing, to say the least. But uh, we're looking to go to Benton Cliffs tomorrow and we'll see how we get on there. So keep watching for to come. We are now heading back from Formwick Bay. And tomorrow, all being well, we should be making our way to Benton Cliffs. See if we can catch any of the puffins there. So here we are at Benton Cliffs and of course it's raining. As I said, this is the following day and the weather has changed, but we've got to try and make the best of it. It's a good job the camera is waterproof. Well, it's got best, one of the best waterproofing. So we go from there. So we make our way in the rain towards the cliffs. We see some swallows nesting in the car park before we get to the cliffs and then we see we do see one or two puffins in the cracks and crevices of the cliffs quite a distance away and then of course we see the gannets which is good um, but of course this is all in a mist because it's raining and we can also see it here some gannets on the cliff edge and you can see the fence line there which is where they were nesting on the edge of the cliff and you could reach across and touch them. I walked round the gannets instead of going past them because you would disturb them so I walked around them and got some nice close-up shots I think but unfortunately the next day which was a nice hot day there was crowds and crowds of people and they just would not stay away so they disturbed the gannets and unfortunately that happened more and more where the gannets were at quite close quarters they got disturbed which is unfortunate and some of the viewing platforms were overcrowded to say the least it was literally shoulder to shoulder which is not good for taking photographs it's not good for the wildlife etc Well, we've had a wet day at Benton Cliffs, but uh, we've got one or two shots, I'm pleased to say. Some nice ones of the gannets, razor bills, and a few of the puffins, although the puffins were a fair distance away then. Never easy to get, but we've got some. Start of day two back at Benton Cliffs, and a much better day. Sunny my god the crowds the car parks are absolutely absolutely full can't believe it oh, i've never seen so many people up here absolutely crowded it really is that forms to get a view old world war ii radar station right on the coast here I finally managed to get a good position to take one or two reasonable shots 
out to sea of the gannets and across also across into the cliffs looking into the cliffs for the puffins and I managed to get one or two of them actually in the crags of the cliff as you can see here they fit into the little cracks in the cliff so well sometimes it's a job to see them and it's it is just their orange feet and beak that give them away and here we have one or two of the baby gannets always nice to see and then there's more shots of the gannets on the cliff top which didn't come out too badly I'm pleased to say and the use of a monopole and a quick release uh, clip uh, come in very handy so I could set up and later on you'll see that comes in very handy when I'm doing some more video on puffins later on in the video so keep watching a lot more to come I had to set the camera on manual mode, manual mode to try and improve the exposure. And you got the extremely white of the gamut against a possibly a black background. You have to make some compensation for it. But I think we've succeeded. I've also tried to increase the, the f stop so that uh, they got more in focus. We are now at our last location, and this is a location that I know quite well. And I know the puffins can burrow into the cliff edge because it's a soft bank thing, a soft cliff that they can burrow into and they make these burrows and then they come back to them year on year so there's a good chance of getting some decent shots and I'm pleased to say I wasn't disappointed and I got one or two decent uh, clips of video plus some uh, stills but I was a little bit uh, I found out later that I could have used something on the uh, OM1 is the two times converter and you can use that on video so I could have really zoomed in but there you go you say you should know your camera and your equipment but anyway hope you enjoy uh, some nice uh, I think some nice clips here anyway So we got one, two, three, four, plus I think there's a little one in the nest. And possibly five puffins together. And another day, and we're on our way to another location. A bit further down on the coast, and uh, not RSPB, but uh, just open the cups. Then we should get some puffins uh, there. It would be nice to see them fly, catch some sand eels, and come back. I don't think that's likely to happen. That's a shame. Just shows you how they burrow into the cliff. I mean, you're looking along the cliffs, and usually in the little crags and that, uh, crags and nannies that uh, on the cliff face. 
And if they've got their back to you, you don't stand a lot of chance of identifying them. You can't see the feet and the bill, uh, the, yeah, the orange bill and the orange feet. But as soon as they turn round, my god they do stand out. I consider myself very lucky to be able to get this little bit of footage. I came out to get the puffins and I've got the puffins. And I'm pleased, I bought the mono pod, uh, the mono stick with me as well. That uh, means I can. Hello, what's happening here? An intruder. Little bit of a squabble going on here, but then I get distracted my eyes taken off of the puffins for a little while and we look across and we can see the gannets flying across there out to sea and I decide well I think uh, we'll call it a day and start to pack up and uh, make our way back and I'm quite pleased it's turned out quite well I wish I'd known one or two other things uh, about my camera and equipment and it just goes to show that you're always learning. Well, it can't be bad. Whole family of puffins. On video. Well, I'm right. Right out on one of the uh, outcrops of the coast here. Yeah. I'm not going to say where because basically there's going to be far too many people and it's spoilt it. It's spoilt it already to a degree which is a shame. See behind me, looking out to sea. And as I swing around, you'll see the outcrop. Here's the coast. That's uh, how far we're sticking out into the sea, which gives us a good angle. And you need a good angle to be able to get the puffins. Hello, we've got lots of gannets on the nose. We're heading further up north, I don't know why. Making our way back off the cliff tops now. That's been quite a successful. Turned out to be quite a successful day. Pleased to say. Could have done with spending longer. In fact, I could spend a, a fortnight up here easily watching where I'm stepping here. It's very muddy. We're right close to the cl cliff edge. So let us flip you around. There we are. There's the path. We are that close to the edge.
Hi, well if you're watching this then you've got through the majority of the video and I thank you for that. And what I would like you to do is if you could give me a thumbs up, it makes a big difference. And also if you subscribe, um, making a sub subscribing makes a big difference to the channel and it helps to support me um, doing this. It doesn't cost anything to you. Also, if you, when you subscribe, you look, there's a little uh, bell there. If you click on that as well, that means you get all the notifications coming up. So when I make another video, um, you will get notified. Um, and as I say, that makes big difference to the channel if you do that. Much appreciate it. I'm hoping the next video that I bring out will be to do with the camera. My setup. Um, also, you probably won't see, but on the bottom of the camera here, there is a fixture which is a quick release. It's a manifesto, manifesto quick release. <coughs> And I use that on my um, monopod and on my tripod. It makes it a lot easier mounting the camera or taking the camera off. Also, something I found out only just when I came back to sunny Norfolk, as it is, is here now, um, is that you can use the two times teleconverter on video. Now I haven't tried this, well I hadn't tried it I should say, because I was told by professionals that it doesn't work. I'm not going to name names, but that's what I was told and I didn't bother to look any further. I now find out that you can. Uh, makes a big difference because you can then zoom in, as I say, two times and in video it's hardly noticeable. Um, the quality does not degrade that badly. So it's another thing you're finding out all the time. Learning, learning on the job as they say. So hopefully the next video will be about that and as I say the other equipment that I may use, um, little things that you may find will be helpful. So, thanks as I say, thanks for watching, as I say, thumbs up, give us a, a subscribe to us and uh, hit that uh, bell for the notifications as well. And I will see you next time, um, and I'll try and get the channel to uh, progress a bit further than it has. It goes in fits and starts, I'm still learning, so... See you next time. All the best. And let's hope the sun keeps shining as it is at the moment. But this is England, so what do you expect? Cheers for now. Thanks for watching. And could you please give us a thumbs up? That would be good. And maybe subscribe as well. Most Much appreciated. And hopefully we will see you next time. If you subscribe, you will get notification of when the next video comes out. So many thanks for that and bye for now.